Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a brand new video. Today I have a new haul video for you, but before that, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel for more content just like this and while you're there, give this video a thumbs up, hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I have a new content. If you are a returning subscriber and you click on this video, thank you so much for clicking back and it's lovely to see you again. Today I popped into B&M and I spotted a few autumnal and Halloween decorations as well as accessories for your fur babies. He's got pumpkins. Pickle and stone. How about this? Pumpkin toy. No? For the boy. Oh my god. Look at that. A pumpkin hat. What the hell? Oh, look at this. Butt pins. Three.
let's have a sip of coffee. I'm having a coffee today for a change. Cheers, guys. Oh, that's nice. Coffee is good, but my hay fever isn't. Anyway, I did pick up. What on earth are you doing? This is the one that's making a loud noise. Say hi. Hello, everyone. Wait a minute. Gosh. As I was saying before I got disturbed by my fur baby, I did pick up a couple of things from um, b and I really popped in there to see Halloween or any autumnal decorations. And also I needed to pick up a couple of essentials. I know I needed this. Refuse sacks. This one is for rubbles and then black bean sack as well. Mind you, I haven't used bleach for a long time. But every now and again, I needed this because you know when you try to clean your toilet bowls, inside where the brush couldn't reach, I can see some discoloration and I'm not happy about it. So every now and again, I would put bleach just inside. Hopefully, whatever discoloration is in there will disappear because it's doing my head in. I can sort of see it, but I can't quite reach it with a brush. So, um, solution for me is a little bit of bleach. That should last me a year. <laughs> and speaking of essentials, this really is essentials for my husband. Custard creams, of course. And for me, I do like my Biscoff, especially if I am having coffee, just like now. Almond fingers. I must admit, I enjoy this every now and again as well. What else? I picked up a couple of these New York coffee 3-in-1. I've tasted this before from... Mind you, I picked this up in the past and I did enjoy it, especially if we're going out like on um, a road trip or something like that. I quite enjoy this, but this usually lasts me a long time because I don't have it all the time. I have, um, I prefer black coffee, um, freshly brewed coffee and black, no sugar, it's lovely. But except today, today I decided to put milk in my coffee just for a change and it is quite nice. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, I picked this one up and I am going to include this in my Balik Bayan box that is going to Philippines. And speaking of Biscoff, I also picked up Biscoff spread. I do like this one. I only picked up small because I am the only one that actually uses it occasionally. But I am thinking of picking up a big jar of it so I can send about four big jars for my family in the um, Philippines. A nail remover. I really needed one. Um, I realized I've run out the other day. Luckily, I had enough just to clean my nails and... Um, so when I spotted this, I really had to pick one up. Now my husband has been going on about chili con carne, that he wants chili con carne. And we decided to pick up one of these. I've never actually made chili con carne, believe it or not. Yeah, I do a lot of cooking, but a lot mostly of Asian. And occasionally I do um, British food that my husband is so used to. But I've never made chili con carne. He's telling me he fancied this on a baked potato with melted cheese and chili con carne on top. And I must admit, while he was telling me about that, I'm like, yeah, actually, I could fancy that as well. So I thought, okay, let's make one. I picked up a new nail polish. You can't actually see because of, of the color of it. It's actually W7. And I, I do like W7. I've used them in the past. I still have about two or three different colors of uh, W7 and it's good enough for me. I don't need don't need very expensive nail polish because I only use it occasionally and then eventually it dries up. So um, I thought I'll use this purple luminescent one. My husband loves purple um, color. I also picked up Maybelline Superstay 24 hour full coverage foundation. This is actually quite light for my skin. But I have a darker foundation there that I usually mix it with. 
if I can't find the foundation that's actually perfect for my skin tone then I just mix it with a slightly darker one and it does okay for me it works for me anyway oh and speaking of fur babies when I just realized my boy hasn't got a jumper that is not either that's not themed either it's Halloween or Christmas but he hasn't got anything that's quite plain so when we go out like for example in January usually I can't put him any jumper because a lot of his jumpers are Christmas you know or anything festive basically might not be Christmas but it's quite a festive color so I pick him up one of these gray plain jumper this is only four pounds this is small but I have a feeling this is going to be quite big for my baby I hope not he's already looking at it okay last but not the least I picked up a rubbish bin this is a 40 litre, is it 40 litre? Yeah, 40 litre rubbish bin. That's it, that's all I've got from B&M this time. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you next time. For the time being, look after yourselves and I will see you very soon. Bye!